This election is already over. It's had the highest vote ever known in <laughs> history by 50 percent. All the people watching today need to worry about on Wednesday is watch Florida with its 31 votes. If Biden wins Florida, he will be the president. That is a fact. The ridiculous American system, which I would love to have discussed with your American lady, where you have an electoral college that allows the people of Wyoming to get one electoral vote for 142,000 people, whereas the people of New York have to have 500,000 votes before they get a vote on the electoral college is madness. And the fact that Mrs. Clinton won by three million votes and still didn't win the election is madness as well. well Jeffrey, but Jeffrey, if I, I will in. tell you, Piers, yes. no, Piers, listen for a change. Yeah. I will tell you, he's going, he's going, Biden is going to be president, Trump will be flattened, and if I'm still on in time, I will tell you three things that are going to happen, which are even more important. Okay. When he loses, do the British people realise he remains in power for another 11 weeks. No country on earth allows its beaten person in an election to remain in power for another 11 weeks. Can you imagine what, what you'll get up to in those 11 weeks? I will Jeffrey tell Archer. you what you'll get up to in those 11 weeks. Yeah. He has executive power. He can still, if, they, if the Democrats win Congress, and they win the Senate, as I believe they will. He can't pass a bill, but he can still press the red button and declare a war, and he can still pardon himself, I suspect. Who did you think would win the last election here, uh, Geoffrey? I apologise. Who did you think should win the 2016 election? Who did you think was going to win that? I, th I was wrong. Yeah. I thought Hillary I Clinton would, so. would win. Yeah, and you may remember, <laughs> you and I, you may remember... No, no, you shush. You, you've had your say. Yeah. You shush for a minute. You shush for a minute. You were completely wrong. Listen, I bow to your superior knowledge of American politics, but just to remind you, you were not only completely wrong last time, but I kept telling you that Trump was going to win, and you kept telling me you know nothing about American politics. So okay. if I may, okay. if I may, Lord okay. Archer, okay. just prick your bum on a moment. I was right last time, and so I would say my knowledge of American politics is not quite as warped as you think. Let's bring in, let's Frank bring in Luntz Frank Luntz. He's <laughs> waving his hand desperately. <laughs> and you'll be wrong this time. <laughs> I've just said who I think is going to win, yeah? Frank Luntz, you even ask me. what are you desperate to say before we bring this to an end? Well, what? first off, uh, Lord Archer, it is a pl pleasure. It is an honour <laughs> to meet you, and you are a brilliant writer. I want to do that on live British television right now. I'm not sure if you're a great prognosticator, but, man, you put words to, to paper better than anyone I know and peers. The only reason, and I'm getting texts, I'm getting emails about every 90 seconds from frightened Biden followers and Trump followers, it's really important that they take the time to count the ballots correctly and that any kind of pressure from the media or from the president to draw a close to this election without those ballots being counted is going to be a big yeah. mistake. Yeah. The American people have a lower level of faith and trust in their democracy than they have had at any time in 50 years. 31% of Americans think the votes will not be counted correctly. 24% think their own votes won't be counted correctly. We've got to fix this. When this election is over, the first thing they need to do is look back on the last year and figure out how not to do this okay, again. Frank, who's going to win? At this point, Joe Biden. Tommy, okay. who's going to yes, win? Quite right. Donald Joe Trump Biden, is going to win re-election. Right. Joe Biden will win, and <laughs> yeah. he'll win comfortably. And Piers won't be won't have the courage to have me back later in the week. Just so that I can Jeffrey, the reason, that, the main reason I wanted you back on today, Jeffrey, was you appeared last Friday, and I was watching at home, and you suddenly said something about books and whether they're in the bestsellers list. Have you both got a book out? Yeah, thank chance. you, Jeffrey, for promoting mine. <laughs> but let's listen to what you had to say on Friday. Piers has got his book out. Are you, are you worried about the competition <laughs> on that front? Oh, good heavens, no. <laughs> good heavens. I mean, he's top of Division 3, fighting to get into Division 2. <gasps> oh. I'm only sorry he isn't there this morning to fight back, because uh, we do love a little punch-up 
with, with Pierce. No, uh, and good luck to him because he's he's very good on television and he's very good on his cricket. But no, no forget forget the book, uh, Piers. Uh, I should be not. I should not be. Searching on the best sentence. I suspect he's not going to let you forget that comment. But anyway, thank no, you for joining won't. us this morning. I just wondered, Geoffrey, as you and I know, the most prestigious bestsellers chart in the country is the Sunday yeah. Times bestsellers chart. Well, I, do you I actually, to have a well, copy on, of it? I happen to have the Sunday Times bestsellers list here for all four categories. Mm. I just wondered because I don't see the name Lord Archer anywhere in any of the bestseller oh, lists. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful to find that the peers? doesn't know something. Yeah. You can't get onto the best sellers list until you come out, Piers. Ah. And I only came out last Thursday. Yeah, but you see, when so I came out, Jeffrey, Michael. Jeffrey, <laughs> that's not that's not actually true because you, I, when novel, I came when I came out. out on a Thursday, the fifteenth of October, <laughs> I did make the best sellers list the week after. Oh. Uh, what I've got here though, Jeffrey, is the Sunday well, Times best sellers list early, of, of general of general hardbacks. And to my astonishment, that <laughs> there's Piers Morgan. Number oh, six brilliant. with Wake Up. That's my astonishment uh, so as well. It would appear. Jeffrey Archer, did you accuse everyone of navel gazing this morning? Because <laughs> I feel like we've kind of disappeared into each other's navels. Uh, thank you all very much can indeed. Can I thank our panel? That's one of the best panels we've had for a while. Uh, thank you all very much indeed. The great thing about elections you, is eventually, man. whether it's in a few days or a couple of weeks, or whatever, we will know who was right and we can play all the clips back. Mm. And you will note, I have not yet said who I think is going to win this election. I was sure last time. I'm not so sure this time. So I will reserve judgment until tomorrow. Uh, Lord Archer, thank you very much. Harmeet uh, Dillon, Lund, very thank much. you. And Harmeet Dillon, thank, thank you. you very much. Good to see you all.